Hello, this is <coughs> Mark Kuranin uh, from Avant Buddha and I will explain this graph which is uh, uh, maybe a bit difficult to understand. This shows the process of uh, Avant TMTM thermomechanical um, uh, processing and um, <coughs> this is um, the brown line here is the kiln kiln uh, temperature inside temperature starting from ambient temper temperature the blue wine shows the um, wood moisture content and um, we start with heating heating uh, the kiln to about 100 plus uh, centigrade for the drying the wood eventually reaches zero moisture level and at this zero moisture level then we can do the thermal modification uh, which takes uh, a couple of hours <coughs> and um, incre increasing the temperature and lowering it has to be quite fast to avoid defects in the wood and um, at the end the final phase is just conditioning we add the moisture that the customer wants to have in the wood um, so if you supply them thermal wood or any wood for dry conditions like Australia desert environment then um, it has to be uh, uh, at, at a lower moisture level than let's say tropics and um, after thermal processing the, the wood is actually um, um, has a, a third less uh, equilibrium moisture level what is different from us to other all other uh, thermal wood uh, suppliers is that we have this uh, mechanical uh, compression in the kiln and uh, we have uh, servo motors that uh, exceed uh, extremely high pressure in the wood up to uh, same as 14 meters of steel loaded on top of the wood and um, uh, and this red line <coughs> shows that we first squeeze squeeze the uh, water out from the from the wood and then we release the pressure so it sort of sucks the moisture out from the inner part of the wood and we repeat this cyclical thing so this is not really wood densification but it helps in the drying process by having this cyclical uh, movement if the customer wants to have um, uh, densification then we exert the pressure constantly at a, at a, at a, at a higher higher level so with Avant wood you can achieve three things you can dry the wood you can have thermal modification and wood densification all at one go typically two or three days cycle time from green to finished products and um, and and um, this thermal modification can be included but some customers may all, only want drying and densification so then we leave this thermal modification out so it's optional extra or if customer only wants to have thermal modification and no densification then we leave the um, uh, compression <coughs> out from the picture any wood any wood dimension up to typically four inches 100 mm thickness beyond which some cracks cannot be avoided but uh, length and width doesn't matter uh, the kilns are built in, in different sizes from 10 cubic meter loading capacity up to 60 cubic meter loading capacity and in between and um, customer may have may have their own unique um, uh, lumber lengths so we can design the um, kiln based on, on your lum lumber lengths typically we use maybe four inches from each end room um, as the bundles are never uh, perfectly loaded so there's some um, easier easier loading if there's some extra room that's it <laughs>